Thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you. That's very... Obviously, you don't have money in the stock market. <laughs> oh, you got them wired tonight. Thank you for coming. You're in a good mood. We got a good show. And you make up, really. And I've said this before. I don't like to talk about audiences that were here last night. <laughs> rough crowd. They... I don't want to say they didn't understand the monologue, but let me put it, they were all lottery winners. <laughs> they, uh, they, they booed the more to come sign. I mean, it's... <laughs> anyway, I welcome you. Cute outfit. <laughs> it's cute. It's beautiful. Would that be, would that be considered a paisley? Is, is that... Floral print. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's... Jungle fever. <laughs> You're gutsy. Wear a floral print. But is that very attractive, though? You like this? You carry that off. You can. You have the uh, the face that can can wear that. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but no. <laughs> anyway, I know a lot of you are from out of town, and um, you're probably going around seeing the sights. Uh, you do see some weird things if you go up, say, in Hollywood. Uh, you know, hang around in Hollywood. We're Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah. I was there this morning. I went there for this joke. <laughs> <laughs> Panhandler came up to me and says, you know, can I borrow $100? I want to get a raincoat. I said, I said, what do you need a raincoat for? He said, I'm a flasher. It just doesn't work with a sweater. <laughs> Give you an idea. No, no. Don't save it. You just let it accumulate. We may need it later. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> well, now, the stock market. The oh. Dow Jones dropped 39 points yesterday. I guess the biggest drop in one day since yeah. something like 1929. Forever, I guess. It must have been big. I saw a commercial with John Hausman last night. <laughs> and Hausman was saying, We blew it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> we put it in stocks. <laughs> and boom. It was a bad day on Wall Street. You had to take a number to reserve a window ledge. <laughs> Scary. One investor I heard jumped off the World Trade Center. The Dow Jones beat him to the bottom. <laughs> I don't like to brag, but I'm pretty astute oh, yeah. when it comes to business. Yeah. I took my money, all of it, out of the market last week and put it in the Kodak instant cameras. <laughs> Marie, I, I used to dabble in Wall Street. All I have to show for it is a roll of two-ply DeLorean stock. Are you in the... Uh... Yeah. Say, Reagan is pretty smart. Yesterday, I understand, he took all of Libya's assets and invested them in the market. Good move. The president, as you probably have read after his speech, has frozen in this country all of Libya's assets. I don't know whether it's going to work or not, if you really want to see frozen assets. <laughs> watch the Rams in Chicago this Sunday. <laughs> you were ahead of me on that one, weren't you? <laughs> but I guess if the president is getting tough with Libya. As you know, the president has ordered all Americans to leave Libya. And Gaddafi today retaliated by telling all the Arabs to get out of Beverly Hills. <laughs> I, for one, being an upstanding American citizen, I've complied with the president's order. I'm changing my vacation plans from Libya to Iraq. <laughs> I, just saw that, I just thought of something weird. Do you realize that Gaddafi has more outfits than Cher? <laughs> Have you seen, every time you yeah. see this man, he's got a different outfit on. What was he wearing today? A denim jacket. And a denim jacket. The other day he had a pink jumpsuit on. Speaking of clothing, I saw Liberace backstage trying to decide whether to wear the mink or the sable. And I'm just talking about the underwear. <laughs> anyway, Gaddafi is, he's, he's, he's a mean guy. He looks mean, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, you'd be angry too if your first name was Muammar. Muammar sounds like a cow after an Armenian dinner. <laughs> Muammar. 
What's the new cartoon series somebody said they're going to start, you know, Saturday morning along with the Smurfs and G.I. Joe? Gaddafi Duck? <laughs> anyway, what else is going on? Oh, the Columbia Space Shuttle is supposed to try again tomorrow morning. Uh, this is about what, five? Five fifth time. You know, you know what it's like? It's like getting a Christmas visit from your relatives back east. And they cancel you, you know, and they say they're leaving five times in a row. Then they always say it's going to be tomorrow, but they're supposed to leave tomorrow, I guess. There was no joke there. It was just kind of an effort. <laughs> but, but you knew that, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, the big news, if you saw the papers or was on television today, and people got kind of excited because there's a possible breakthrough in a cure for the common cold. How many of you saw that on the news? Yeah. Possible. Scientists apparently have reported a major breakthrough, breakthrough or breakthrough. <laughs> it's, it has to do with an antiviral nasal spray that they've tested, and apparently it keeps the, num the colds in the household from passing from member to member. That's exciting news. You know, years ago, they were, were trying to come up with a uh, chicken soup nasal spray. Uh, <laughs> but the matzo balls kept getting stuck in the house. You buy that joke, you'll buy anything tonight. <laughs> anyway, another big football weekend. Let's see, we've got the Rams at Chicago. We've got the Patriots at Miami, right? Now, the last week, the temperature in Chicago was something like, with a wind chill factor, 12 degrees below zero. So every player with the Rams was given a cup of hot chocolate. I'm talking about an athletic cup. <laughs> a real hot chocolate. <laughs> okay, we have tonight, as I mentioned, Liberace is here this evening. <laughs> yeah. Very funny comedian who's been with us a number of times, uh, Mr. George Miller, and a lovely, lovely young actress whom I have not met. She's very pretty, very young. Uh, her name is Rosanna Arquette. She is here tonight. Stay where you are and we'll be right back.